What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Oklahoma's worst angler, Alex Epperson. Now, first off, I want to get something out of the way here. I know it's been a while, it's been a while since I've uploaded, and I want to thank everyone who has reached out and made sure that I was okay, made sure everything was going alright, checked in with me, I know, you know, I was on Instagram letting you guys know that I was alive, but I want to thank everybody who did reach out, that, that means a lot, um, just had some stuff going on, had some heavy stuff happening, so, but everything's good, everything's alright, now we can get on with this video, I got the formalities out of the way, just again, most most important to me is just thanking you guys for checking in on me. Now, let's talk about the best crankbait that I think, in my opinion, the best crankbait for pond fishing. And that is the Man's Baby One Minus. Now, not just this color in particular. This is, you know, a little baby bass pattern. You guys know I love baby bass. But the Man's Baby One Minus. Now, there's three different sizes of the one minus. There is the normal. So this is the normal one right here. That's a 3 8 ounce. You look at the uh, comparison of the 3 8 to the, the baby. The normal to the baby. And then they make a bigger one, which I was talking to somebody earlier this week. Or actually, I guess it was more like a week ago or so. Um, they said they you know wish they still made the big ones. And I was mistaken because I said, oh, I, I got one. I got one right here. I didn't realize that they made ones bigger than the 3 8 So they've got a quarter ounce. The baby is a quarter ounce. The normal is 3 8 ounce. And the big one is 5 8 ounce. However, all of these dive less than a foot. You can get them down to maybe a foot. But I do believe that these are the best crankbaits for ponds out there. Now, are these the original Man's Baby One Minus? I do not believe so. I'm not, I'm not, you know, like a bait guru and know the history of every single bait that's out there. But I do not believe that they're original, the original ones. Um, however, some of the colors that I have, you cannot get on Tackle Warehouse. I've gotten most of mine from Bass Pro. Just I see them and I snatch them up as soon as I can. Um, but obviously, I'm going to show you guys some footage of me going out and fishing them and. Uh, come back and talk about them a little bit more. There we go. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You just came up out of nowhere for it, didn't you? Holy cow, you've been eating. Look at the belly on this guy. You crapped all over me. Freaking crapped all over. That's how full his stomach is. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. Full of crap. Thanks, dude. He freaking blasted up out of that grass. Whew. Now, even though this baby one minus dives so shallow, this grass is so thick and the water is so low that, I mean, this is still picking up grass. So what I'm having to do is, as soon as I feel it get bogged down or just tap anything, I'm killing that retrieve, letting it float up, and then going right back to, to it. Now I'm doing a steady retrieve on this. This is a six gear ratio. Well, Abu Garcia, Revo Premier, six six, or yeah, six six, 27 inch turn. And then I think I got uh, some 16 pound fluoro on here. So it's getting a little bit deeper. But that's what I've got to do in bodies of water like this. We'll go fish some other ones and see if we can get it done on the other one. What we got here? What we got here? I think that's a bass. <laughs> oh man, another just fat chunker. Teeny tiny but just chunky look he pooped too they are eating so much knock the crap out of him look at the belly on him that is insane just glutton straight gluttony look at that Whew. 
Now what I did on that one there, once I made that cast out there, I'm sorry for the highway noise. I made that cast out there and let it sit. I let it sit until the ripples dissipated and then picked it up and started reeling it. Now like I was saying, you don't want to set the hook too hard on these. That's why I'm using the glass rod. Those little tiny hooks, especially at the back, you can rip them right away. They will bend out. You can see that one's even bent out just a little bit just from that fight. But you can rip them right away from a fish if you set too hard. So I'm throwing on a glass rod and just letting that rod load up. If they want it, they'll take it. Simple as that. Guys, just check out the hunting action on this thing. This water is so clear. It's nice because, I mean, I can see that lure almost the entire time. But it has got a really wide wobble, wide hunting action. It worked. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> I just made a cast over there. As soon as it landed, saw weight come out. But I started retrieving immediately. This time, I had the same cast. Let it sit. Let the ripples dissipate. He came up and ate it. Heck yeah. There. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let him just take it. Let it load up. He ain't big, but he ate it. Oh, fatty. Got him. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. We got another fight coming. Oh, my gracious. Oh, I didn't think this through. Oh, I did not think this through. Oh, no. I'll, I'll come in there after you. Don't think I won't. Come on. Come on. Hey! <laughs> oh, dang. Look at the head on him. Her. That is a solid, solid fish. Wow. All right. Let me tell you a little bit about this one though, okay? This one. <laughs> Three separate times I have cast over there and I have let it sit and I've had a fish hit it just on top water sitting i finally got her gotta be the same fish thank you thank you She got it oh she got it i didn't think she had it i did not think she had that oh man oh not again oh not again i'm just kidding i'm okay with it <laughs> oh dang oh dang daddy oh no oh yeah 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 <laughs> oh caught her at the end of it. Another solid fish. 
another solid one right there. That's another one over in that area that said the same thing to me twice. She's come up and she's hit it and missed it, or I've missed her, and I finally got her. And that time, I mean, barely got her. I think she hit it and spit it in the last just little rear hooks caught into her. Those little itty bitty hooks right there caught her on that one. So caught some good fish that day. Fished it just a little bit differently, a lot of different variations. The bodies of water, everything, everything changes, you know, like fish's temperament to the time of day to where you're fishing. All kinds of stuff to take into account, but I do believe that this is by far the best. I mean, for the guys that want to go out and fish crankbaits in ponds and not really worry about losing that crankbait, this is solid. This is absolutely solid. It's got extremely fast, extremely fast float. Backs up out of that cover really quickly. Nice thing about it, I guess not really nice thing about it, but a nice thing as well is that rear treble is so small, but like I talked about, you can... You can rip those things right out, and you can bend them pretty easily, too. Now, this is not the only subsurface, you know, like a little one-foot diving crankbait with a wide wobble that's out there. This is not the only one. Six Cents actually came out with the Finesse Crush, um, which is, it dives a little bit deeper than this, but it was kind of meant to, you know, combat the, the man's one minus series of crankbaits. What's nice about those is those hooks do match up pretty well to where they do not get hung up. One thing that you will find on the man's, at least on the baby one minus, is, and I can't make it happen. You can never make it happen when you want it to happen. Those hooks, those treble hooks will get tangled up and wrap up, and you'll notice immediately. I mean, you won't feel that kick. You won't feel the wobble. You won't see it. It affects the action quite a bit. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. But, again the baby one minus this is my absolute go-to and especially right now with it being in the fall and these fish keying in on the smaller bait it's either small bait or big bait like i mean you guys have seen i've been i've been getting them done getting it done on glide baits so it's either like teeny tiny or really big that's that's what it is but i really just want to talk to you guys and hopefully talk to people that haven't been here before looking for a good pond crank bait the man's baby one minus lots of different patterns this is the man's one minus right here three eighths ounce quite a bit of a difference in the size from the normal to the baby but the baby one minus i really do believe that that is the best pond crankbait in my opinion but i'm this that's my humble opinion so i guess kind of a trash or pass but i mean not really a trash or pass i mean it passes it's it's killer it's awesome so Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you next time we're on the water.